there are some things inherent in the way that you run a, a business, or web business in particular, that uh, means you're adaptable when the economic climate has gone in the direction it has. And there's sort of three things that we think about primarily. Uh, one is a culture of openness. Um, second thing is nurturing really great talent. And the third thing is making sure you can operate at pace, which enables you to succeed. Uh, think about openness. Um, the, the, the way we think about things is markets as conversations these days. You know, people engage with brands and identify their brands in a very different way to the 10 or 20 years ago. So it's important that you have an open dialogue with your customers and your employees, because this will build trust and ultimately that's the success of your brand will live and die by the fact of whether people trust you or not. And at Match.com, there's a couple of things that we do uh, that's, that are symptomatic of this. One um, is that everyone in our organizations talks to customers on a weekly basis to get direct feedback about the things we're doing well and the things we need to improve on. Secondly, um, we create something called the Match 100, which was um, 100 of our users, past and present, um, that we had a, a launch and event party, which again was a, a way in which we could go and meet people face to face and talk directly about our business. But importantly, it was a way that we could highlight the success and the fact that the product works. And it's, um, it's not just about the technology and the brand, it's about you know, real lives and people connecting and falling in love. And then third thing, very simply, that I do is that I write a blog, which means that um, everyone has available, um, everyone is able to look at um, snapshots of things that I'm getting up to or thinking about. And uh, this is useful, A, for the employees, because there's transparency about uh, my activity, and B, it's another touch point for our, our customers who are able to, to contact me. And the other thing we think about is nurturing great talent. I mean, this is a, this is a truism, so it, it's important at any stage of your business. But I think if you hire great people, it shows, particularly when um, times get tough. And there's a couple of things about that. You know, it's always, for us, it's about making sure we hire people that have a broad intellectual capacity so that rather than thinking just about the silo technical role that they operate in, that they're able to input and advise and debate issues across the whole area of our business. So, for example, when we're thinking about our marketing, uh, we make sure that the whole business and the whole team will debate and contribute to the um, discussion around what our marketing needs to look like. And it's not, it's not a democracy as such, but it's a, it's a benign dictatorship, so people are allowed to input on it, but ultimately the discussion decision comes down to six single individuals. Um, following on from that, we like to think about, you know, everyone's an entrepreneur these days. You know, you have to make sure that we're utilising people's skills, intellect, but also their network um, to be able to, to come up with the most creative and the most um, apt solutions to all the problems that we have. The final thing we talk about is being able to operate at pace. And when I think about this, it's about having no hierarchy, having no bureaucracy, and, and, and really making sure that um, we, we have no red tape within our business, so people are allowed to make decisions um, quickly. Um, within that, we're, we have implemented tools, as I said, to measure, to make sure that we have um, the right models to make sure that the risks are calculated. But at the same time, there isn't a great um, debate or decision process that, um, that disallows people from making decisions quickly and being able to get on with taking, um, taking responsibility for their own actions. Um, Within that as well, it's important to say that if you have um, if you have a number of activities within your business that are happening concurrently, make sure that people who are owning those responsible tasks are also able to recognise when things aren't going well. And we make sure that if something isn't responding, we cut it and we move on to the next thing. So the key is pace, but it's not pace at any cost. It's make sure that it's measured pace. And within that, it's the ability to capitalise on market opportunities. You know, as an example, at the moment, it's well documented that and the cost of TV is 17% down year on year, and CPMs by an online display are down greater than 20%. So by able to operate at pace, we've been able to, to respond to the market conditions and not only buy more media, um, but buy at a lower cost as well, and hopefully put more light between us and the competitors.